Hey y'all, I'm Hope and today I want to talk about the books I've been assigned to read for the fall semester. This is I guess kind of a TBR of sorts except it's more solid than my usual TBRs because it's stuff that I absolutely will be reading in the next few months because I'm required to read it. But I'm really looking forward to my classes this fall. I think it's going to be a really interesting semester. I think this list is really interesting and I'm excited to see what conversations come out of this. I'm actually only taking two classes this fall technically. Uh, really I'm technically taking one. I'm taking one elective, one graduate level elective, and then I'm going to be doing a teaching internship with an undergraduate course. So I'll be helping with um, like meeting with students if they can't make the instructor's office hours. I need to lead discussion a few times. I'll be like coordinating with like handing out and picking up assignments, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm really excited for that because that course is on uh, or incorporates game studies, which is my area of interest. So I'm very excited for that. And then the last thing I'm doing is my thesis hours, my first set of thesis hours. So I think it's going to be a really interesting semester. And I think in terms of the books, let's start with the ones for the course I'm going to be doing the teaching internship in, because there's only one book for that class. And I think this one is an interesting pick. So this first book is Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. I know very little about this book and there, the description on the back doesn't really tell us very much, but it says that there's a character named Hero Protagonist who delivers pizza in the real world, but is a warrior prince in the metaverse. As he is like playing this alternate reality thing, the metaverse, I think this is where Facebook got the name for all of their stuff now. Um, he encounters a computer virus that is taking down hackers everywhere and he races along the neon lit streets on a search and destroy mission for the shadowy virtual villain threatening to bring about the infocalypse or the info apocalypse or something. Uh, it sounds really interesting. I think this came out in the 90s so it's going to be like a 90s version of the future. I think this is going to be a fun experience. It's not something I would have picked up on my own and I'm really excited to see what kind of conversations come out of this especially with like the eco-criticism eco elements because I don't know how that's going to play into this yet. So very excited for that and I could not be more excited about this teaching internship opportunity. I was originally just going to try and audit the class but then the instructor suggested that a teaching internship might be more beneficial to me and I've just I didn't even know it was a thing I could do and I'm just like super excited about it. Then the other class that I'm taking is a topics in gender sexuality no topics in gender and sexuality studies. I keep getting this like title confused. But it's one of these where you can take the course multiple times as the topic changes. So I, I've not taken this particular topic before, but this semester the professor is theming it around Venice. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be like Renaissance era literature written about and in Venice, I believe. And I think it's going to be really cool. So the first thing we have to read is actually not related to Venice as far as I know, but it's this book called I Never Thought of It That Way by Monica Guzman and I need to either borrow a copy from the professor or get it from the library, but we've been assigned to read one hour of this book and then let this rest of the class know how far we got before class starts. And so gotta get a hold of that soon, but it sounds really interesting. I don't know if this is going to be one that I'll continue on with if we're not required to read the whole thing, but it's a book basically about how to have difficult conversations in our like modern, very divided political climate, which I think is probably going to be fairly controversial. I think it's going to be interesting. I could see interesting conversations coming out of this. So I'm interested to see how that book is going to kind of play into the topic of the course. And then the other two things that we've had assigned are both Shakespeare plays and they are The Merchant of Venice, which is one I had predicted we would likely be reading. This will be my third read of this, but that's fine. I like this play. And I also have a really good audiobook that I got a while back for this. There is a good recording from, I think it's Archangel Productions, but they have a full cast audiobook that stars um, Bill Nighy as Antonio, and then David Tennant is also in it. And it's just a really fantastic audiobook. I love audiobooks for Shakespeare. I find it's uh, much less intimidating if I listen to it while I'm reading it. So I am looking forward to rereading The Merchant of Venice. The other play we're going to be reading is Othello, and I don't know anything about this one. I've never read it. I think the extent of my knowledge is that Othello is, I think, originally from Africa, but he's some sort of military leader and he is working with or for Venetian authorities. Whether that's voluntary or involuntary, I don't know, but he is in some way, ends up in Venice, and I think there was also a marriage involved somewhere in here, and that's basically everything I know. So I'm curious to see what this is going to be like because I don't know what to expect from this play, but I am really excited to pick it up and see what it's like because I have, in recent years, been enjoying Shakespeare more than I did when I had to read his work as a teenager. So there's all of the books that I know of that are assigned so far. I still don't have syllabi, so there may be more, but that's what I'm aware of at the moment. And I'm really looking forward to the semester. I think it's going to be really interesting. And I'm, I always kind of think it's 
funny to me how excited I am about school starting now because it's like topics that I'm really excited for. So anyway, those are the things I'm going to be reading and that's all I have for you today. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, I hope you'll consider giving it a like, maybe even subscribing to see what comes next. I'm currently posting every Tuesday and Saturday so there is more content coming soon and I hope to see you in the next video.